Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Houston's has been sneaking up on teams all season long. That's coming to a stop. No longer a surprise, but they are playing with confidence and a certain swagger, and we can't wait to see what they'll do next. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Stadium and the battlefield for this game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Houston will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Calhoun takes it at the four, and he's tackled at the 28. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and two. Nice gain as he works the right side. Decent gain there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. On play action, he'll scramble. Brought down around the 42 yard line. short of the line of scrimmage. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 38-yard line. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Today we get to watch one of the great wide receivers in football. Bowling's footwork, his great hands, his speed, he is a dangerous offensive weapon. No doubt, Brad. He's really one of the most exciting players to watch in college football. He catches everything that's thrown his way and is a legitimate deep threat downfield to make big plays for this offense. He's going to face some doubles, sometimes even triple team coverage. And I think today, this defense, they might do a decent job of slowing him down, but eventually he's too dangerous. He's going to make some big plays. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Good protection, and now he's on the run. Slides down. just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. It's 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. And he snags that one. And he's tackled right away. That's a game of 10 on the ball. That'll make it second and inches. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Check, check, check. Play action. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle around the 40-yard line. The Owls have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. He's at the 30. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. First down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. Caught over the middle. He's taken down at about the 13. Nice run there. That's good for the That brings him second and five. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Offense lines up in a five-wide set of defense, anticipating pass here. And they make the stop at the 39. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 41. They come out on an empty backfield. He goes out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. That makes us a little sad. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Catches it, and that's all. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets the ball, and down he goes around the 38-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. 
They're about four yards away here on third down. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 3-0, Owl. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. to the receiver, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Going for it all to the end zone, and he's got it for the touchdown. the extra point. A nice eight play, 77 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. quickly and it's almost intercepted. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. So it's third down now and they're going to need about four. Throws incomplete intended for his wide outs. Turn man. He's tackled at the 43. Momentum swings have been even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Houston is up by four. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Green awaits the snap. He's taken down to the 38-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires this one. Oh boy, almost intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at the 49. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. 
He makes the catch and has a first down. Nelson makes the tackle at the 38 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Gain of nine yards. First down. Hey, like I got eight. I got eight. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That brings him second and one. Tailback and he's met in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. for the field goal. It's up, and he got it. Temple is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 22. Houston's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here, and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half of being over and to see that their go-to wide receiver is not putting up these big numbers, and yet they still have the lead, just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the team which this receiver stepped up. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Houston, up a point. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 25. Throws and it's incomplete. Fisher was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. Calhoun is back awaiting the punt. Tackle at the 50-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here's the tight end, has a first down, brought down around the 34-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. He scrambled. And he's set. Aggressive call there to send the corner, and it paid off. Boy, did he get in there quick or what? So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Passes it to the middle of the field. Very good tackle in space.
Devils going to have to use their second time out of the half. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Oklahoma! Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Throws it out there. Fires quickly. Touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. Converts the extra point. Dingo has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Taken at the five. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The Cougars struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes... You know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Scrambling around. He's to the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 42. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Willis fakes the handoff. Tackle right around midfield. So the quarterback picks up about eight on the scramble. Houston will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Caught open field. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And now the ball is loose. He picks it up. He's tackled right around the 34. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. The kick is up. And he splits the uprights. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. Temple's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. 
Lee fields it at the three. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. This one, you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum. The other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's to the 40, and he dives forward. With the pass incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That makes it 37. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Temple is up a field goal. He has some room. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big game, and this offense keeps humming along. Five yard line. That brings up second and nine. I got you. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Let's make these babies cry. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Got some open field. He's at the thirty. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and goal. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Scoops up the loose ball. So the offense turns over to Pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws it deep. 
Missed it. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. From their own 17-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. Brought down to the open field. Passes it. just a well-executed play. They picked a the perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Quick toss. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Time he throws the ball in this guy's direction, something big seems to happen. I don't think you can find a quarterback in the country who wouldn't want a guy like this on his side. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Cooper ready to kick. Calhoun fields it at the two. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Bowling's drive in this game has been sensational. He's just having an outstanding day. Yeah, he's just one of those guys who's just a total total uh, package as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball. He can make you pay for it in space. And they've done a good job of finding ways to get him the football. That tackle very well could have saved a touchdown. Finds his man. First down. And he's taken down at the 13. First down. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. That brings him second and five. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and they push him out at the three. That'll make it third and one. Six. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calls. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Houston's team playing very well here in the third quarter, and they're showing why they're ranked where they are right now. Yeah, there's no doubt. The sleeping giant was awakened at halftime, and now this second half, they're starting to really establish who they are and why they have such a big reputation. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Nice 
run, and he's brought down. Houston with a one-point lead. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Looks like he's going to run. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. This one might be coming back, this folks. So let's check out the penalty. <laughs> Offense. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. From their own 48-yard line, first down. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 44. That makes it second and two. Mike 35, Mike 35. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. The Cougars lead it by one. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Houston up a point. Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of one yard. down now and they need to get it to the 29. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here we go. Had protection now scrambles. Rock down at the 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Key with the tackle at the 21 yard line. That brings us third and 12. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle right around the 18 yard line. Well, we got a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Less than three minutes in the game. Yeah. 
He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. The Owls have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's tackling at the 47-yard line. He's scrambling. Slides down. That makes it first and ten. And they make the stop at the 17 yard line. Gain of 22 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. in and hit immediately for a loss. A four-yard loss. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From the 15-yard line, it's third down. Just under two minutes in the game. Here's the halfback on the screen. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this play is number eight on the drive. He might not be able to get the pass off. Throws it out right to the running back. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one is coming back. Here it is. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your ahead. offensive progress. It's fourth and goal. They're on the nine-yard line, and I'd probably be expecting a pass to the end zone here. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Out of bounds at the two. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good start. There he goes. Gets out to around the 22. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First and 10. Ball of the 22. Under a minute left in the game. Makes it to the 34. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Temples called their final timeout. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. It's third and 15. Ball on their own 30. Mike 35, Mike 35. Let's go! Well, you can 
see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 2016 Cougar. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.